iPhone 6S Plus versus Samsung Galaxy S7. That's coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech, helping to master your technology and welcome to iPhone 6S Plus versus Samsung Galaxy S7. Now, these are both premium devices. Both are not the latest. Well, actually Samsung Galaxy S7 is the latest from Samsung in terms of their premier smartphone. But the 6S Plus is Apple's 2015, well, late 2015 flagship, but it pretty much served as the entire year of 2016, and it came out before the iPhone 7 Plus, so this was still a choice many people had, and I still think many people have this choice, as both of these devices on the used market or second hand are in a similar price point. Actually, the 6S Plus might still be more pricey than the Galaxy S7, even though the Galaxy S7 is a newer device. So let's be begin with the boot up test of both of these devices in this video while we talk about the specs. Three, two, let's go. And you can see Samsung Galaxy S7 logo shows first here. Now on the 6S Plus, you're getting an Apple A9 CPU, which is a beast, and it has two gigabytes of RAM, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S7, you're getting that Qualcomm Snapdragon 820, at least in the US. Now you get the, uh, the Samsung Exynos 8890, as well as four gigabytes of RAM, whether you're on the US or international version of the Samsung Galaxy S7 here. So four gigs of RAM, the iPhone 6S Plus, slightly ahead on the boot up test. Now in terms of cameras, both have 12 megapixel sensors here on the rear here, so I don't know why that's getting in focus. 12 megapixel device right here, and this does have 4K video recording here, if I pull that notification away. Over here on the Samsung Galaxy S7, you do have a 12 megapixel camera here, also capable of up to 4K video recording. Now what's different with the Samsung Galaxy S7 is that you get expandable memory, you get a, how would you say, a waterproof design, which also makes the speaker a little bit kind of tinny, and you do get fast charging here on the Galaxy S7, as well as a Super AMOLED display at 2K. So even though on camera these devices might look the same here, they're not quite the same. So this does have a 1080p display here on the iPhone 6S Plus, and this one, like I say, 2K display here. Both have fingerprint scanners at the bottom, so the iPhone 6S Plus is gonna give you second gen Touch ID and Samsung's latest fingerprint scanner. I think both are quite fast. Um, if you set up two fingerprints on the Samsung, it's almost just as fast as Touch ID second gen, but Touch ID second gen is probably the most efficient and fastest application or fingerprint scanner on the market. So with that being said, now I wanna talk about our app test. So we're gonna go ahead and do our app test here. I lined up the applications the same, and I'm gonna go ahead and close out both devices apps. So you can see everything is closed out. And before we get into this, I just wanna mention that the iPhone 6S Plus is running Android version did I just say Android version? iOS 10.2.1. That's the latest official iOS version for Apple, not the betas. Beta 10.3 is now available. Over here on the Galaxy S7, Android 6.0.1, I'm still waiting on the Nougat update. The AT&T model does tend to drag a bit with the Nougat. So, we're gonna begin with the calendar up here and let's see which one is faster. Let's go into calendar. And you can see the 6S Plus was ahead there. Let's come home here. And that looked about the same going home. Let's go into calculator. And you can see Galaxy S7 ahead there. Let's come home and Galaxy S7 home first. Let's go to camera. I'd say iPhone 6S Plus faster there. Let's come home here. And Galaxy S7 faster home. Let's go into clock. Galaxy S7 in the clock. And the Galaxy S7, I do have 1X animations. I do not tweak the animations because some people say, well, let's see the real raw speed of Android by tweaking the animations. But not many people even know that that exists. So this serves for everyone. Let's go into YouTube. And you can see Galaxy S7, I'm gonna give it to you there. So Galaxy S7 is taking the win so far in the speed test here. Let's go into my videos. And this is funny because the Apple A9 in the SE was doing better, but you gotta remember, the A9 on my SE is a TSMC processor. Funny enough, the iPhone 6S Plus is also not a TSMC processor. This is a Samsung processor in the iPhone 6S Plus. So Samsung versus basically Qualcomm here. So let's come home. And you can see Galaxy S7 home first. Let's go into a Pi Geek. 
And I would give that one the Galaxy S7 and just have to load that notification. Um, let's go into Play Store versus App Store. And you can see Play Store first. So the Galaxy S7 is not no slow poke device and Bluetooth is on. Let's turn off Bluetooth. And it's beating and it's got Bluetooth on. I'm actually missing it up there. I got this screen protector on, this black screen protector. I wanted to make the Galaxy S7 look black, but it, it kind of messes with touch just a little bit. Let's come home here and Galaxy S7 home quicker. Let's go into play new stand. And it looks like that would have been the Galaxy S7, but once again with the notifications, it's kind of annoying. Let's try that again and see if it does it again. About the same there. Let's do that one more time. About the same there. I give that one to the 6S Plus in the last one. Let's go into internet here. Accidental tappage. Accidental tappage. Hashtag tappage. Let's go over here to internet. See what happens here. And let's go into CNET.com here. Let's check out a tech website just to do a browser test here. CNET.com. Let's go. And you can see that looked like the Galaxy S7 was ahead, but the iPhone 6S Plus caught up. So I'm going to call that one a tie there in terms of the browsing. Now, in terms of the browsing, Samsung's internet browser is pretty silky smooth, but it's not quite as buttery smooth as the iPhone 6S Plus, which just feels very nice to the touch. This can feel a little bit choppy at times. You can see it's fast, but it kind of chops down there. Like with the 6S Plus, you can just see how smooth it rolls off your finger here. Not quite the same here on the Galaxy S7. It's more fast and smooth, I would say. So let's try another website just for the heck of it. Let's go into yahoo.com here on both devices. Yahoo.com here for 6S Plus. Yahoo.com here and let's go. And you can see Galaxy S7 just lost that one. So Safari is the faster browser here of the two. Let's go home and about the same going home. Let's go into S Health versus Health, Apple Health. Let's go here and Apple Health way ahead on that one. Let's come home. Let's go into phone. By the way, which health application do you guys like better? Comment that down below. Do you like the Apple Health app more or the Galaxy's app more? I actually prefer the Galaxy's app. It's more simple in my opinion. Let's come home. Let's go into phone on both. And you can see, look like the Galaxy. Let's try that again. Now the iPhone, let's try that one more time. Now the iPhone, one more time. Yeah, the iPhone is faster on the dialer. Let's come home. Let's go into Amazon on both devices iPhone 6s plus so the iPhone 6s plus is coming back here in this test let's come home let's go on eBay iPhone 6s plus so the iPhone 6s plus is making ground in these third-party apps let's go into Instagram Gary V shout out to Gary V let's go over here and you can see Look like about the same on the Instagram, honestly. You can go ahead and follow me here on underscore Nick underscore Ackerman. I post the all the latest stuff behind the channel, kind of behind the scenes of this channel. If you're interested in that, links are down below in the description area of this video. Let's go into Zedge and wallpapers on both. See what happens here. iPhone 6S Plus. So here is where the iPhone starts to take the lead in third party apps. Apps are better optimized for Apple devices. So basically, you're not going to get faster third party app speeds on the Samsung. Let's go into Wikipedia. And it just shut me up. Now the Wikipedia app opens quicker. It's reading about pneumonia. Somebody I know caught some pneumonia. So it's doing some pneumonia research. You don't want to catch that stuff. You really don't. Let's go into Temple Run. And let's see what happens here. About the same, I would say the iPhone was ahead there. So the iPhone gets the win, but the Galaxy on these light apps was not that far behind. Let's go into Subway Surfers. Not a big gamer, so that's why I don't have like Nova 3 and like Need for Speed and Gear Club and all those awesome like graphically intensive games. I'm not a huge gamer, but if you guys do, if enough of you request gaming tests, I will make it happen. So. I have no problem testing gaming if you guys, enough of you request it. So the iPhone 6S Plus just destroyed it there in Subway Surfers. Let's do a speed test on both devices. Speed test loads first here on iPhone 6S Plus. So I would say the iPhone 6S Plus actually caught up to the Galaxy S7 and is now probably ahead in this test. Let's go to begin. So in terms of those basic apps, the Galaxy S7 
was doing just well in terms of its Galaxy apps, the ones that come on the phone, the more optimized for TouchWiz apps. But once we got in the third party where it took away from the Samsung experience and goes into more of the Google experience on a Samsung device, that's where Apple's optimization came into play and just kind of beat the crap out of the Galaxy S7 in my personal take, my experience of what I'm seeing here. Let me know how close you guys think these are, but that, you know, these 0.3 seconds, these 0.2 seconds, they're not the deciding factor of which phone to get. There's so much more that goes into it. Let's go on a begin test here on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and see what happens there. So we got 89.55 down on the iPhone 6S Plus, 11.94 on the up, and we're getting about the same speeds here on the download. So the Galaxy S7, 0.4 megabytes, 0.4 megabytes on the download better than the iPhone 6S Plus. What about the upload? Still looking very close, very close. So the Galaxy loses to the iPhone 6S Plus on the upload, but this is really dependent on your Wi-Fi speeds. Both are gonna pull in pretty strong signal in terms of Wi-Fi. Now here is where the Galaxy S7 is going to lose this test in multitasking. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna begin with calendar. Let's go to calendar and you can see a reload there already. So let's go here. Let's go into calculator, a reload again. You see how the Galaxy had to reload that whereas the 6S Plus is just flying right into the app. Let's go into YouTube here. Once again, a reload. So this is gonna make a huge difference in day-to-day -day use if you're hopping in and out of apps quickly. The iPhone 6S Plus is gonna feel like a much more buttery, smooth, fast phone. Let's go into a Pi Geek. And once again, see, that can be really annoying, and this is really just an issue on the US version. The Exynos doesn't have this issue quite as frequently as, you know, the uh, international version. The US version has this problem more than the international version Galaxy S7. Let's go on a Subway Surface here. That was about the same, so give one, I'll give props to Samsung on one app. <laughs> so let's go over here. And I'm not bashing them, but this, this phone just is not the best multitasker, especially, like I said, the US version. So overall, the conclusions of this speed test, in my personal opinion, the iPhone 6S Plus might be a little bit slower in some applications. When you put developer options on the, one, the 0.5X animations, the Galaxy S7 feels faster. This is how I would sum this video up in terms of these devices. If you're buying one of these devices, the Galaxy S7 feels in use if you tweak the animations. It feels snappy. It feels kind of like quicker, but it feels like, how would I say, choppier. It feels quicker, but choppier. The iPhone 6S Plus might have smoother animations. They might be slightly slower if, than the Galaxies if you tweak the animations on the Galaxy, but they just, they're consistent. They're reliable. They don't have no chop to them. They're just extremely smooth and it just feels natural to use the iPhone. And I'm not trying to promote iPhone. That's just my experience. I've experienced both of these devices heavily and I think the iPhone experience is smoother than the Galaxy S7. But, but in terms of everyday use, both of these devices are so good so fast that you know it really comes down to do you want Android or do you want Apple here now what are some of the advantages of the iPhone 6s plus over the Galaxy s7 so the Galaxy s7 is going to give you why well, I said 6s plus so the iPhone 6s plus in my opinion is gonna give you a better camera in terms of how would you say photography so if you're a photographer if you take pictures uh you take a lot of pictures and photos and you want that natural like i would say like a canon like a canon camera kind of look the more balanced colors you're gonna love it here on the 6s plus over the galaxy s7 um in terms of video both are quite similar but i would say the galaxy s7 you're gonna enjoy more on video the galaxy s7 is gonna give you faster focus than the iphone 6s plus uh a lot faster focus so if you snap pictures on the go you're running gunning kind of shooter you shoot a lot of quick shots and you're moving in a car get the galaxy s7 you'll be much happier here now with the 6s plus it's a huge size so if you don't get big hands stay if you don't get big hands if you don't have big hands like you can get them you're born with the hands you're born with <laughs> uh, stay away from the 6s plus it is quite quite big this is a very compact ergonomic phone and i think a lot of people are going to love the way this feels in the hand galaxy s7 is still not a tiny phone it's a pretty decent sized phone but it's uh it just feels phenomenal in the hand now if you talking about the home buttons both are pretty clicky here so it doesn't matter which one you go with for the home buttons now the screens so the screen on the galaxy s7 i think is going to blow people away in terms of its quality it's amazing it's phenomenal 
The iPhone 6s Plus is a standard Full HD resolution and it looks great very well balanced great viewing angles one of the best ips displays on the market so this one will impress quite a bit too but i think the galaxy is going to leave you with a smile on your face more often than 6s plus where this will just feel like a standard good screen this will feel like a phenomenal great screen that you're going to be putting a smile on your face here and there when you put a new wallpaper and you just see those colors pop or you take a picture of that flower and it comes to life you're going to love this galaxy s7 for that reason now, the front-facing cameras is going to the iPhone 6s Plus. Both 5 megapixel, but I don't really think this one is that great in comparison to the iPhone 6s Plus. In terms of battery life, both are pretty solid. I, I find the Galaxy S7 not a problem to get through the day. It was a little bit problem my first days, but once I broke this phone in, it's starting to get better on battery life. The iPhone 6s Plus is the same. I think the iPhone 6s Plus with the Samsung processor has similar battery life to the Galaxy S7, but it's a little bit better because of the larger capacity battery over here actually it's a smaller capacity but it just it just feels better on the uh it feels like it lasts a little bit longer here on the iphone 6s plus here now in terms of call quality i have to give it all day to the samsung galaxy s7 it has much better sounding calls here for the galaxy s7 and yeah now in terms of the way they build the way they feel in the hand the iphone 6s plus feels great but so does the galaxy s7 and I think the Galaxy S7 feels better in the hand. It has a glass Gorilla Glass back. It has amazing, um, you know, hyperglaze technology where it just shimmers in the light and 7,000 series aluminum around the sides. This is a phenomenal build and I think there's more thought that went into Samsung's design than Apple's design here with these antenna lines. And, you know, it's just this aluminum slab that we're all used to. You can get this kind of feel on a $200 blue device these days, the blue Vivo 5. So, I mean, this is not nothing special here, I think, on the iPhone 6S Plus. It is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful, but it's not like it's super amazing design I think the iPhone these Samsung has got iPhone beat on design here now You do get more health based features with the heart rate monitor where you don't get that on the iPhone 6s plus and yeah That's pretty much the differences between them um, You get fast charging here on the Galaxy S7 and yeah, that's gonna pretty much wrap this one up with all those with all the information I just shared with you. I hope you decided for yourself which one you're gonna go with like I say these devices are a lot more evenly matched than you might think. The Galaxy S7 does have the advantageous features of waterproofing and it does have fast charging and possibly a better design if you're into that thing. 6S Plus I think is going to give you more consistent, better battery life. It's going to give you a better, uh, a faster experience. The A9 I think is a bit quicker than the 820 CPU and it's going to give you a more, how would you say, like I say, stand, uh, well balanced camera so like a canon camera whereas this is more like i'd say like a panasonic or a nikon type camera it's got cooler colors this has got warmer more realistic colors this is more saturated looks more fake not real to life but at the same time it looks gorgeous when you take pictures of vivid colorful things so you got to decide for yourself which one is for you if it was my money if i had one phone and honestly, of these two, I'm going with the 6S Plus, and I'm going to tell you the reasons I would go with the 6S Plus. I just think it's a longer-lasting phone. That's it. Period. It'll just, I think it'll go longer into the future. It'll be further updated than the Galaxy S7, and I can live without the waterproof. And it's just, like I say, iOS is the reason why I'd probably go with the iPhone 6S Plus over the Galaxy S7. But both are phenomenal phones, and I don't really want to choose, and that's why I have both of them here. So... Which phone would you go with of these two devices? Drop that comment down below in the comment section of this video. I'd like to chat with you about that. Like the video if you enjoyed it. That would be appreciated. This was Nick here helping to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one. And peace.